Hello, my name is Dale Segoy and I am an application engineer for Keithley Instruments. This is going to be a short instructional video on how to do a simple scan on the model 3706 from the front panel. Here's how to do a simple 10 channel scan using the front panel controls on the model 3706 switch system multimeter. First thing we need to do is set up the channels. So let's do that. If we go over to the wheel and just push it in, you'll see the one, which is the slot number, starts to blink. So we want slot one. Yes. Push the wheel in. Then the first channel starts to blink. We'll start with channel one. Hit that. Notice down below, this uh, channel number starts to blink down here. That's the last channel. So we'll just use the wheel. Scroll up to ten. I just chose ten out of the air. Hit the wheel again, it goes over to the function. Notice the default is no function. Just turn the wheel to select a different function. Let's choose DC volts. Hit the wheel. Now that's set. And the important part here, pay attention everybody. You hit the insert key and it adds it as the scan list. Okay, now what we need to do is how many times are we going to go through that number of channels? We have 10 channels, so let's go through that 10 times for 100 readings. Simple enough, we press the configure button, and then we press the scan button. And we look at all its selections to measure count, use the right arrow, go all the way over to scan count. We hit enter, scan count is one, we just use the wheel, press it, when it says edit, you can adjust it, up to 10, 10, we hit enter, exit. Now it's set up to do 10 scans of those 10 channels. One other thing we need to do is press the store button is we need to create a buffer. So we're going to hit create, enter. Let's just use the default front panel buffer one. Then it says, oh, we're going to put in a thousand. Well, let's just put in 100. So we just hit edit. Push the button in, go down to 100, enter, exit, we're ready to scan. If you notice, the little asterisk in the top right comes up saying it's ready to store. So if we were to hit scan, and if it's blinking on background, hit enter, hit scanning, and you say, oh, but I didn't see any channels. Well, it took all 100 points. Let's try and let's find that. We go to recall. There's channel one. Here's the number. Here's the time. If we were to just scroll with the wheel, you can see it go up from two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Those are the channel numbers and the readings. Now, guess what happens to channel 11? There is no channel 11. It's reading number 11 to channel one. That's the second time around the, sec the first set of channels. So we can go all the way up. If we use the wheel, we can go all the way up to 100, which was 10 scans of 10. And that's how you do a simple 10-channel scan on the model 3706.